had a connection today with a friend and we were talking about money and I noticed something that I felt scared about and it was about the, the speed or the the energy that was in the space and I was holding space for this thing of discovery and possibility it was really like something unique because I, I could see so much of myself in the w the things that he was saying and it was things that there was this energetic that making it in life is hard that the money situation is difficult that even like house rent is expensive and that sourcing more money is something challenging and I was I was in this space of uh, seeing the, the energetics that it wasn't being said but that it was being said in the tone of how things were being said uh, so I checked I checked with myself and I was bringing up, well, this is what I'm taking a stand for. I'm taking a stand for sourcing $10,000 a month and for really seeing that there is so much value to offer to that I can, that I can receive money for these things that I have value about and that uh, I, by li that I don't have to limit myself to the salary or, or the, the hourly rates that is being uh, the minimum wage or or even to the story that oh i'm an artist so i'm supposed to struggle for for money or i'm an artist so people don't really value the work that i do uh or even that i'm a writer so writers are not supposed to make a lot of money so all of these things uh, even this one there, there is this other one about I, i'm following my life purpose so that is not very rewarding so it has this underlying tone that i'm supposed to struggle i i i will struggle if i follow my life calling which is art being an artist being a writer um uh, being a, an edge worker a healer uh, i will struggle and i felt uh, angry about that i f i felt scared that and also sad because I noticed that, that I I remember carrying these ideas and beliefs so firmly. I was so dead on on that. I was like, we are marginalized. We are people of the heart, people of the earth. And we are not really doing very well uh, in terms of money because money is um, a capitalist, a system of the capitalism. Uh, money is the the root of all evil. Money is used to exploit the the people and exploit the resources of the earth, and and money is just this thing that we have to deal with, just this thing that is on the way that is kind of this. I have to deal with money because uh, is the the is the thing that we are a slave to. And there was this uh, underlying tone to what the uh, to the space that was being created. And I was being uh, kind of like dragged into it if I didn't hold the space. And then I I took a stand, and I shared that well I'm sorry I'm I think there is something else that is possible, and I'm taking a stand for that. I I really not buying anymore into this idea that it's hard to make money, and that I'm supposed to be poor, and. I feel scared because I, I, it's kind of bullshit. I, I, it's not kind of bullshit it's that I haven't proved it yet. I haven't, uh, I've gotten tastes of it through the work that I done and I haven't been able to source like a big amount of money, enough money to, to supply for myself and for my family using my 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 archetypal lineage or my 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 unique skills and and i have been able to source some money and even more than money source transformational spaces spaces that that deliver great value and the 
money part is still not there for me. And, and I'm taking a stand for that discovery process that I have other people in my team that are saying, keep going uh, and to keep going about seeing my relationship with my own value. And what I keep discovering in the journey as I walk is that I have ways that I devalue myself that are so familiar, that are so normal, that things that I've been doing for years that are the value me, like that take the value from me or I give away my value. I, um, I, I, I reveal that I am worthless. And then I allow other people to treat me as worthless. So I am finding this uh, meeting point where I'm trying to source money. I'm putting offerings and out there and saying, this is what I'm holding space for. And then I'm finding this contradictory or things that take away from that intention that say, I'm, I'm worthless, I'm not of value. Um, I'm an imposter. Uh, I am, I'm a fraud. I am, I'm a scammer. And, and of course it's very important to, to identify this and to go through this process. If you are in this journey of generating money, that you go through this process of checking in with yourself for real connecting with reality. If you are actually providing value for others, or if you are just scamming people for their money. And you will notice this in, in the in the way that people will give you feedback. This this was amazing, this was transformative, and they will also want more or they'll stick around or or they 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 somehow they 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 show up to meeting that connection. So I want I'm saying this because uh, a lot of the people in my circle are edge workers, are these people that come from falling out of the edge of modern culture. They have reached an edge in modern culture where they see that the, the, all the stuff like medical system, the education system, the government system, all of that stuff is kind of bonkers and, and, and there is a, it doesn't make sense. The education system doesn't make sense. The medical system doesn't make sense. And these people, they have gone and they have reached the edge and perhaps they have fallen out of the edge. And a lot of my people in my circle, they are they have reached that edge and fallen out of the edge into this place of where I'm very familiar with. It's like a marginalized place where you're at the edge and you're not seen anymore. You're not part of the mainstream culture of going to a restaurant and, and going in a, in an, uh, traveling in an airplane or going, uh, uh, tasting wine in a, in a fine store or having the most uh, advanced gadget or talking about the weather or talking about the nine to five, uh, or being really excited that Friday is here. It's finally Friday and that you can take a day off. Like all of these things that belong to the, the center of m the mainstream culture. And, and so part of that symptom or the consequences of falling out of the edge of modern culture is not yeah, like, like falling out and, and being not seen and not, not having any point of reference. So all of a sudden you like the food the scraps of food that falls out and your the, the compost that falls out and and all of a sudden you, you, there is no value you're you the same uh, association that, that you had before of value that you are valuable because you are part of the of the society or you are valuable because you are making money or that you are valuable because mm, people are clapping for the, the things that you're saying, whether it is a joke or that you're making funny, funny posts or on social media or because you are a funny guy uh, or because you're really smart and intelligent and you provide a lot of 
value for the company. All of, all of a sudden, when you fall out of that edge, these things are not there. This value reference of value that you had before, it was is not there anymore. And you lose this sense of, of value. All of a sudden, you're just you by yourself with a bunch of other people who have also lost their value, which are the people that you are connecting with and saying like, hey, uh, modern culture didn't make any sense and I fell out of the edge. Uh, and, and we're connecting on this. And a lot of the consequences of falling off the edge is losing your reference of point of value. So you're f you're, if you're losing your value, it's like you're losing your your value, your point of reference of value, you, you're worthless, you don't have any value. And this is a tough journey. And it's a journey that all of us who go to the edge of modern culture and fall out, that we have to go through. And it, it's also an awesome journey because you fell out of that edge for a reason. You fell out because there is something else that is alive for you. It's almost like, your value, your inherent value system was so dissonant and so different from modern culture that you were automatically pushed out from it and you fell out. And what did you fall out into? You fell out into this space where it's, it's open and there's a lot of different, it's like a whole nother world there. It's like a whole nother world you find edge workers, you find healers, you find, find people talking about quantum healing and reiki and uh, witchcraft and uh, sorcery and uh, past life regressions and healing and and shit and demon stuff and people like doing crazy stuff bdsm or uh, all of these other parts uh, that are not part of the the mainstream culture and, and in that place, it's really hard to find yourself. It's like, who am I? Like, why am I here? How did I end up here? And this is the part of the journey of that money is still in there. You still have to pay your rent. Um, most people, maybe not you, but, but maybe but likely you have to pay for food. The food that you buy you, if you're traveling, you got to pay for an airplane or some sort of transforma uh, transportation uh, method. Uh, and uh, you might be able to make it without money. I was able to make it without money for like like four years. And it was not without money. It appeared to be without money. I didn't have money in my pockets or in my bank account. I, I didn't even have a bank account uh, for four or five years. And... And what I, what I came up to was this choking experience, uh, reaching a, a time in my life when I was li literally, not literally, but I was choking. Uh, financially, uh, I, was, I found myself sucking on other people's resources for, for money and, and finding that I was blaming, blaming the system and blaming others for for this thing but i was still using their money i was still using the the grocery store the the financial system to get around and and this was the, the realization after being rejecting money and saying fuck money fuck people with money i was right there like a leech sucking on on money on the money system and on other people who were sourcing money because uh, I wasn't sucking directly on money. I was sucking on people who were sourcing money in one way or another. And this, this is not, this wasn't fun. This isn't fun. And this is the what ultimately is driving me to this pain uh, of being a father with three children and having... Uh, to relearn uh, my value system, re reorganize, rediscover, and strengthen my value system. And this is also the invitation that I have for whoever is on the path of journey and of sourcing journey 
and it is that of rediscovering your value system. What is it really that you care about? What is it that you value? What, what is it that you're taking a stand for? And getting clear, conscious about this, not just as a abstract concept that maybe it's this or it's kind of this, but to get clear about what it is that you value, what it is that you want to see in the world and what it is that uh, that is valuable for you. What do you have? Value in Spanish is the, the same word as courage. And it's, this is very interesting. It was I was talking with my friend, uh, again, the same friend. Uh, we were talking about value systems and, and we're like, value in, in Spanish and courage is the same word. It's value uh, and valor and courage is coraje, uh, or, but it's also value. When you say somebody has value, is that they have courage. So what is it that you have? And courage, the word courage also comes from heart, from the word heart. And all of these connections are very interesting because it's like a, a journey back into your heart. So what is it that you value? What is your new value system? And and that value system, uh, as a, a lot of people are falling out of modern culture right now, out of that edge because it's like it's shrinking or or it's pushing people out or something something is happening in there where a lot of people are waking up that what is happening in modern culture, the cons the consumption, the madness, the this uh, superficiality, this shallowness. Uh, that it feels that like just there is just a shell about it. There is nothing deep. There is nothing of substance and real in modern culture. Whenever you try to to touch on something, like for example, I'm gonna touch here on this lamp. Like it seems like it's made out of something out of like something real, but it's like plastic, or is this like fake wood? Or is this this shell thing? So a lot of modern culture is, is that is the, the shell of things. It's not the real culture behind it. There is no depthness to it. So as a lot of people are falling, we're finding that the holy shit, there's a lot of value in, in what is down here. We're not just compost, we're not just rejects. There is actually something here that is of great value. And and something is emerging from that. It's like something that's been composting and is creating a, a soil that is becoming fertile for new life to come to come through. And, and this can be super scary for some people. Uh, and, and it is the, the cycles of life and it is what, what guides life and the, the, the path of life. So I didn't expect this video to be this long and I'm glad that I made it and that I, I got to ex I got to share with you the this connection of discovering your value system and the importance of your relationship with money and your value system and how your how you are identifying with your old values the old values that you kind of got pulled away from and that you used to associate yourself before and finding the new thing of what what is valuable uh, how do you how do you nurture a space with your values how does your values provide a value to the space uh, how do your values the values that you are inherently connected to uh, how are they feeding a space and creating food for the space and nourishment for the space or how are they interacting with the space it could be even destruction how could they be in, are they bringing destruction to the space and connecting with these inherent values of yours it's your way to uh, healing your relationship with money and for some and i believe that for most people this will manifest as an abundance of money or this uh, affluence of uh, money and other resources so thank you for watching. I would love to hear what comes up for you about this, what questions kind of come up about you for this. And 
what would you like to hear more about? What is something that I didn't say? And yeah, what, what has worked for you? What hasn't worked? What did you discover? What is your value system? All of those things, I put them in the comments and share them away. And I'll see you again in the next video. Bye for now.